Welcome to my channel. I'm Skylar. I recently moved to the spooky capital of the world, Salem, Mass, with my bestie, Iris. Now, everyone knows the hottest group of Salem influencers is the Coven. They're so cool! So, there's Miles. He's the leader. Head witch energy. Then, you have Kirsten, and she's definitely a baddie. Dan, the nice one. She's so cute! And then there's Chad, and he's... Well, he's there too. Hopefully I'll get to collab with them soon. Living here's been awesome. In fact, Iris and I just booked an acting gig with the city's oldest theater. Good judge, Hawthorne. Do I not work and sweat and bleed like any other God-fearing man? Mr. Proctor, the evidence is overwhelming that you and your family have obliged in the dark arts. The punishment henceforth shall be... DEATH! <gasps> End scene. Oh, uh, we have shows at Old Town Hall. Two, four, six, and eight, uh, every two hours. O-M-G. Iris, the coven just DM'd me. They want me to tell a scary story at their meeting in the Salem Woods uh, tonight. Dude, that's fantastic. But, uh, what if they hate my story? What if they make a bad impression? Bonk. Overruled. You're gonna do great! This is awesome! This is everything that, that you've wanted since we got here! It's on your super secret vision board! I told you not to look at my super secret vision board! Shit, we're gonna be late for our next show. Let's go! Okay, here's the plan. Kirsten, you're tall. We'll have you dress up as a Salem slasher, you'll come out of the woods, and you'll scare the life out of him. It'll make for great content. Um, first off, no. Excuse me? I'm not gonna piss off the real Salem slasher dressing up like him in his woods. There is no real Salem slasher. He's a myth, kind of like Bigfoot or trickle-down economics. He's real and a hard pass. Okay, fine. Um, Chad, you'll do it. Oh, okay. Wait, why would we be mean to him? He seems so sweet. Exactly. You know, I don't think he's coven material. He's not even from here. Um, I'm from Chicago. Yeah, I'm from Pittsburgh. <laughs> hey, Miles, aren't you from Ohio? Shut the hell up, Chad. Oh, oh, please, take a seat. Tonight. Are you recording this? Oh, thank you. Tonight, we're gonna see if you have what it takes to be a part of the coven. Now, have you prepared a story for this evening? Um, yes, yes I have. Uh, but first I'd like to say In that In that I case, I can officially begin this session of the Spooky Sessions. Okay, all right. Um, so, it all started when people rose from the dead! Zombies? Seriously? That is so 2010. Miles. Do you have a different story? Oh, uh, yeah, I just, um, just give me like one second, I'll think of something else. Don't worry it, about it. Why don't we just have someone else go first? I have a story. Oh, uh, I have to take a wicked piss. I'm gonna be pissing in the woods. This is the tale of the Salem Slasher. 
About 10 years ago, this hipster couple, Becca and Hunter, moved here from the Midwest and got an amazing deal on a place right on the edge of the Salem woods. Having dinner one night, Hunter was like, kind of weird that this place was so cheap. And Rebecca was like, uh, yeah. And Hunter thought that was so sus. Well, what do you mean? So our realtor may have told me that the price was so low because this house is haunted. Interesting. The family that lived here ran a Christian bookstore in town, but lost the shop when tourism got really big because like, know your audience, right? So about to lose everything, the dad went nuts, murdered his family, and hung himself in the woods, swearing eternal vengeance on all outsiders. Are you kidding me? Well, no. Listen, I'm not able to be my best self right now, so I'm going to go calm down. But then we need to talk about being better communicators. So he did. But then he heard a voice whisper, you don't belong here. He tried to ignore it. You don't belong here. Before Hunter had time to react, the killer raised a shovel and spat. <coughs> Are you gonna be okay? Yep. Uh, shouldn't someone check on Chad? No, oh, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> That's a wicked fucking knife there, bro. Anyways, as I was saying... Okay, maybe I wasn't being a good partner by not telling you- Oh my god, this is so gross! Then she heard it. You don't belong here. She turned around and- The cops found Becca's body the next day, but couldn't find the murderer. But to this day, they still say he roams these woods, looking for people who don't belong. I said, looking for someone who doesn't belong. Ah! Ah! Get him off! Get him off! Um, that's not Chad. Holy shit. Oh, this is gonna be huge. No, no, I told you. Why don't you listen to me? I told you he was real. 